We're kind of on two tracks right now. Our team, and you're always on these two tracks, but we're pretty heavy on our team right now, working to grow and get better and improve and take care of the things that we have control over. You know, we're, we're continuing to spend a lot of time on that. Uh, and then you're also scouting and getting ready for your next opponent. But we've, we've got to keep getting better. We've, we've just got to, we've got to cut down our errors. You know, if it's four to six errors that we're making in the post, it's got to get down to two or three. In the ball screen defense, if that's six to eight, it's got to get down to four or five. And if it's missing a guy on a roll when we're on offense, you guys understand where I'm coming from. I mean, we, we've just got to cut them down two or three in, in four or five different categories so that we play better longer. We've got a very experienced group. You know, these guys have been together for, for – uh, you know, for a couple of years now, you can see that on film. Uh, their, their defensive field goal percentage goal is right around 41% uh, in terms of what they're giving up. Teams are shooting about 34% from the three-point line, so they're doing it defensively again. Um, I think that that's one of the things that, that Brian has done in the, you know, since he got there um, is put his, um, you, you know, his, uh, his footprints all over the, what they're doing at the defensive end of the floor, how hard they play, and what they do in terms of rebounding. And those things show up on film. Uh, and then you know, I think because it, you know, a couple things. One, they've got good players. Uh, two, they've been together. Uh, and three, they're well coached. That offensively, they know what they're looking for. So you know, they know, you know what their point guard brings to them. You know, what he's, and they want to put him in those positions in terms of using the ball screen. Also get him, uh, you know, see if they can get him open on the three-point line. But they want him creating things. So it's not like they've got four or five different guys all trying to do that. You know, they know who they are. Um, they've got a couple guys that can really shoot it. They, they try to get those guys shots. You know, they've got with Childs and, um, and the two guys inside at the center position, um, they want to throw it to those guys on the block. So, and you can feel that and see that on film that they have an understanding, they know who they are, and they're going to work hard to, to, uh, um, to do the things that they're good at individually so that their team can play well on offense. Uh, so playing against an experienced team that, that uh, takes pride in their defense um, and knows what they want to get done on offense. All of the Valley games are hard, and league play is hard. Um, and as you just described, we get three of the four most experienced teams, and then we get the two teams that had the best November and December. So we get them early. Um, and all five of them are going to be tremendous challenges. But you got to love it. I mean, that's – and we're not playing as good as we're capable of playing right now. We're not playing as good as we're going to be playing in two weeks or in a month or in, in – you know, as we get into February. We're going to be playing a lot better here at some point. But um, that doesn't change the start time of Wednesday's game. You know, that game starts at 7 o'clock, and we know where it's at. So, you, I mean, you, you just got to love it. you got to be willing to dig in, and you got to love it.